I'm also still curious, like, Andrew here? Why he didn't have a grave in the... Like, he didn't have a, a grave in the, um, in for that the family girl. plot. We have to stop her. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. So, there's potentially, like, he didn't die? This may sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. Is anything here not falling apart? like that to brace it that's that's a certain way to get get stuck Mary Milton's grave Mary's grave this is believed to be the resting place There's of Mary Milton there is a source of many died. accusations against alleged witches Pastor Carver took her under his wing when, where he instructed her and prayed with her before she incriminated several townspeople because of her controversial role in the witch trials, many of the townspeople turned their faces against her. Her remains were buried at the edge of town. <clears throat> what did Pastor... Ca Pastor Carver... He's got a secret with her. Whether he's... Whether he was doing the devil worshipping or he was... Doing something with her... Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. We've seen very little of um, Andrews. We've Looks only seen beautiful. him once, I think. Don't you think? In um, the 1700. Oh. Oh. Freak, man. <gasps> no, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in Abraham. these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. Yeah, he's A. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Suspicions to yourself, and it's our uh, community. Joseph, he's suffer. Joseph here. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is no, pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I, was I wasn't confident of being the priest, but we hadn't seen Now I am not Abraham so sure. Yet. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did. 
like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. Uh, that's why she's doing no it. No one can doubt that. Because the, the priest has some. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. Hmm. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you of doing? years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can do. Oh, breathe. One thing I didn't <laughs> see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. It never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and <laughs> ghosts. This is some serious shit we're in here. Lighten up, Lady Doom. Just hoping to get a freaking smile out of you. We need to get moving. Tough one. Dear. This premonition she was hiding. Is it gonna be a heartbeat one? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ready? Is it gonna swap? Move, okay? What the fuck is that thing? <sighs> Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way.
Oh man, <laughs> this is great. Oh. What's the effigy? Is that the factory? What happened back there with that thing? Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. Only a matter of time before they come after us again. That's a pretty negative outlook you got there. Mm-hmm. There's gotta be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Well, I mean, there might be replay next year. Here we go. I like something's choking him out. Uh, let's keep together. Road closure stuff. Is that a thing? No way in, like the rest of this fucking town. Oh, it was an actual, I think it was an actual bit of light shining off it, not a, um, like a display to the character. Mayor Hale's land deal. Fears protest will surely escalate as closure looms. Oh. Definitely a heart pounder. We're going upstairs. Oh, there's something to look at here. Vote Carver for Mayor. 666 for our future prosperity, Samuel Carver. Oh, that thing we saw. The picture, right? Is he getting pressed into silence so there's someone under that right that's joseph on the bottom the j character in 1972 in the house he had uh like big big beams from the uh the ceiling fall on him in the house Check this out. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. 
Come on, inside. Where are the girls? Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> It's my time to speak before the judge. <sighs> I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be a new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Hmm. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? I don't think it is. This is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? Yeah. He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. No, I think it's good. Shit! So what happens now? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. Is that the court or the church? What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Oh man, this is intense.
Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. Must have been after the fire. Because I can't see what's his face there. <clears throat> There's got to be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? James was his 1972 name. Joseph, James and John. Kiss my ass. <clears throat> Mr. Vincent Barnes. Employment warning letter. Following a recent discipline meeting, I'm writing regarding your attendance and behaviour. Management have made every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal warning. Further repetition of this behaviour or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result in dismissal. Revenden expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual and sober. You must acknowledge the receipt of this letter. Please sign and return to the former's office within seven days. It's addressed to Mr. Vincent Barnes. So he was showing up to work drunk. We did see him at the bar drunk. Struggling to get on his bicycle. Okay, so that's the five people. Get over people. here. You gotta see this. The, or the six. <clears throat> hey, Khan, how you doing? This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? Oh, man. What does it mean, Have though? you played this one, Khan? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? Oh, dude, this one's insane. From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. Like, Man of Medan was I don't know was what's good, real here. Right? But it wasn't... Are you the real Andrew? Like, this one's Come full on. on Creepsville Halloween stuff. And they upped the quick time event game. Uh, it's so just... So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us. As far as I can tell. That's the judge. No, I think that that <clears throat> be a childhood connection at the start. I think might um, put you off guard a little bit, put you in the feels. You notch it, Lewis. Having read Captain Bond's letter attesting the affair within Lieutenant <clears throat> Lieutenant Hope and heard petitions of the townsmen. Right to express my signal concernment, Pastor Carver's teaching strayed from the true doctrine and piety. His mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and surrendered into sin over many years. Please attend to his past behaviours which infect and corrupt the town. I ask a commission to be, be appointed to examine such affairs of last year, including the matter of the girl. 
Thy servant, thus Wyman, judge. How you doing, man? Having a good weekend? G getting ready for a good weekend? Just waking up to start your weekend? Is that what's happening? Bill Hope Factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are set to be lost. Little hope when the Ravenden Textile Factory closes its gates. Their Harvard Road site in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and ancillary businesses across town. Decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, director in the family business that has been primary employer in the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we've made this decision. We consider the works at the factory part of our extended family and know how much Revenden means to them. We can no longer continue to run the business. Dialogue with the Carver family said McCarthy, but while daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver was rejected them at every turn. Uh, he went on, we want a partnership with the family to save their business and livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. If they can't profit from the land, they will shut it all down. As a main source of income for the majority of the town's families, many are worried the future will bring the factory closing, will gut the town, and one factory worker told Harold, adding we, blah, blah, blah. I feel really bad for people that have gone through situations like that because it, you know, it sucks. But there's one thing here where someone says, if they can't profit from the land, they will shut it all down. Well, if they can't profit from the land, it's unlikely that it's neutral. It means they're going to be losing money. So what happens if they run out of their money, then it gets shut down anyway. And that's what happens in business. And unfortunately, if your business employs people and you're not making profit, you can't stay open. I mean, you might be able to for a little bit and hopefully pick it up and get better, but the majority of times when big things change, especially in towns like this where factory, or at that time frame as well, when factories sort of overseas um, competition was much cheaper and they just couldn't keep up, like, you just can't stay open. At some point, the you know the bills don't get paid and you, your staff don't get paid and the, the electricity gets shut off. It's kind of dumb taking it that far. It still sucks to be involved in that if you're, you know, part of a factory shutdown, but, you know, kind of misguided to be like, oh, the boss wants to just make money. It's like, well, yeah, that's what business is to some extent. Yeah, factory closure has been closed. Liquidation, following several incidents since the closure of the factory has been placed off limits, attempts to enter the premises will be treated as criminal trespass. Any former workers wishing to retrieve property can contact office at phone number. <laughs> the way it was worded, if they can't make a profit, then nobody will. Maybe. Maybe they're refusing but No, they're refusing partnership okay. offers. So what's your theory, smart guy? We're dead. I'm guessing they're figuring That's that... That's what I said to Taylor. We're fucking dead. Because if we're in a partnership, you're still stuck there. <laughs> and partnerships, usually in that situ in a situation like this, it, it, doesn't, it means the factory's still going to be losing money. You'll just be only losing half of it. Or a percentage. Oh, Vince and his son? What's the story here? No, okay, so Vince... Leave him for some other guy? Okay, so old guy Vince was Tanya, um, boyfriend. Right. That's why he's hanging around town. And that's why there's flowers on the grave, because it was him, yeah. I didn't know if he was also the guy that came running to, when he saw that the... I don't think he was the one that came running when the house was on fire. You hear that? Right below us. 
<clears throat> we need to find a way out of here now. I think we're about to meet his um his past double. The one that got crushed. That definitely sounds good. Sounds um oh man. <sighs> That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. Uh What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? This doesn't good. seem like a good idea, fellas. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Daniel? You okay? Uh-huh. Come on. I missed it. Grab hold. A dude is Come on, come on. I need to get out of here. Come on, almost made it. Oh no. Get here fast. We've been mucking around in here for a while, I think. Oh. Well, there's two of us. Can we take it on? Let's go before anything else happens. Yeah, you're 100% right, Kizron. The problem with uh, a business losing money that is being badly managed, um, in this situation, it's like the owners are badly managing it and they're not going to admit to their own, or one, they might not realize their own falling. And even if someone put it to them, they're more likely to say you're wrong. And so having a Daniel? partnership with them means they're going to be the a partner you? in bad management. Answer me! And they're, or they're going to disbelieve that it could be managed better. So the only way that to sort of save to something gone, like that is to buy it out but completely. But it could come back any time. And not offer a partnership. We have to keep moving. If they hadn't gone bust the game, it'd be a lot shorter, yeah. <laughs> That's usually the biggest issue if it is truly a, a mismanaged by ownership. Or even if it's mismanaged by employed management from ownership they have to be willing to admit that and change or someone has to recognize it and offer a, a, a full payout like a full buyout if you're trying to fix it and a lot of times even as a loss a, a business running a loss if you were to offer them money based on their loss value they're more likely at the time capable of making more money off liquidation sale of assets So you almost need to be willing to pay 
Uh, Professor? Almost as if a goodwill amount of if it was a, an actual Professor? profitable business. Hey! You Unfortunately, guys! Andrew? you'd need to have that money because bank loans won't support uh, a goodwill potential. Oh, thank God. If the business is already showing to be run at a loss. Got lucky, I guess. It's a really crappy First situation. Time tonight. Where's Andrew? Oh my god. He's there. Thought I'd lost Everyone's you. Everyone's there. No, we're, we're all alive, Bobfire. This isn't over. The thing back there is still after me. And that thing down the road here is after someone else. Oh, that's the one that's... After... That's the drowned one. And did you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Oh, that's yeah, past Andrew. This. Mr. Clark, yeah, leaving Little Hope Police Department yesterday. A line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watched as Andrew Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from police. Thursday afternoon, the onlooker said that poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. The Herald approached Mr. Clark for a comment, but he has not. Someone blamed Clark, who was found with the box of matches in his hands at the scene for causing the fire. When Clark left Little Hope Police Department, passerbys were heard to yell burn in hell yeah so there was one guy that came to the house on fire and he was looking at the box of matches that was still in his hand but he'd used the match to light the stove he was just still holding the box so that guy must have been like yeah he was holding a box of matches he burnt the house down he didn't burn the house down But he might not even remember what happened beforehand because he just watched his whole family die. All right, so that's why there's no grave for him because he didn't die. He ran in but then must have come back out or been pulled out by... No, he must have run back out because the you police that? that got there first. They didn't save anyone. She must have been burned at the stake. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. In the 1700s. And then she burnt in the house. God oh, damn it. Like every time. Oh, did they all go? No one in the hole is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. Oh, he's getting you must crushed. Die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm down as infects you with madness. Roy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Come on, help me. Look, there can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones! Uh, the devil yeah, must be crushed from within maybe. him! Do not flinch! The fate of little orc rests in your hands!
So he's going to start getting chased by a pancake. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Run. John, please hurry! Come on, you fuck! I'm ready! It's too weak to hold the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer's a heavy man. Oh, shot. That's Flat John. Flat John, John Flat. Oh, what could it be Jack? Flat Jack. Why'd you fall over? Don't look through gone? the gap. Don't look through the gap. I don't see it anymore. No, 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 no. Back up, just back up. We need to figure a way oh, out of here man. before that thing finds a way in. I'm just sitting there Place squeamish like waiting for down. something spiky to come through that gap. Oh, the eyes. Here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. Oh. Apparently, um, House of Ashes, the new one, is supposed to be even better. So, like, I'm, oh, I'm really excited for tomorrow. And there's a trailer for next year's one out. Looks really disturbing. I 
her swing again. That's messed up. Oh, it's the floaty. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, go away. Yeah, the hanged tire. Hundred <laughs> percent. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? James and Anne. <clears throat> this is their house. You're gonna want to see this. Angela and I were married. A little too it's ironic. You like really this. do think. <laughs> the Modern Guide to Successful Parenting, Dr. Andreas Vogel. Parents unhappy. With their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their children to feel the same as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring, so parents accept theories that encourage love as the solution to conflict. This leads to belief that if their children misbehave, they should not be angry or punish them, but instead indulge in ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppress anger at their child's behavior, but cannot keep a lid on their frustration until they explode, frightening and confusing the children. This, the parent feels <clears throat> guilty at the loss of what to do for, feeding a new cycle of misbehavior. Problem lies with parents trying to be patient. When patience is exhausted, the child needs correction. They're indecisive or irresolute when firmness is required. If no one corrects him, the child will escalate his behavior until his provocations become so serious that his parents snap. An eruption restores peace temporarily, but there is danger in the aftermath. Parents who feel guilty um, at losing their temper forget to give their child time to endure punishment. Instead, they attempt to undo correction. By easing penalties, discipline requires consistency. The parents must hold the line against a rebellious child and punishments followed through. Should should one parent relax their discipline because of laziness or guilt, they leave an opening for a naughty child to exploit. Parents must set limits and indeed a child prefers his parents to be firm, provided they are also fair. This is essential training in getting on with other people. Without it, the child believes the world will confront their demands and tantrums. The spoiled children often shocked by a real world cannot cope in an environment that doesn't indulge their whims they face becoming unpopular or learning the hard way how to socialize with others <laughs> these old songs are great old it's almost 30 years ago kids run that's that's old right parents must actively intervene in establishing limits <clears throat> child the box or 25 years ago that's old somewhere between that more than 25? I don't know, 27? Yeah, because I'm like. Child borks can be forced to what is asked of them, whether stopping to them drawing or turning the TV off. Well adjusted parent can stand up to their children while maintaining friendly relations. Be firm and face a refusal or yelling. In time, the child will learn whether the boundaries of acceptable behavior lie. Bad manners. As he progresses towards adolescence, the child is apt to lose his manners. He talks tough, leaves his shoelaces untied, and arrives at dinner table with dirty hands. Many things are happening here. He's adopting models of behavior of other kids his age and asserting his independence. He's fine with this behavior. Parents imagine the child has forgotten all they've taught him, but he hasn't. He knows good behavior and bad, but he wouldn't rebel against it. Parents should understand their child is growing up normally. Angry feelings for a child are normal. Parents should acknowledge these without excusing misbehavior. The child needs to understand the difference between hostile feelings and hostile actions. The basis of well-adjusted behavior is the ability to recognize feelings and decide how to act on them. Some boys may show no open rebelliousness, while girls show less bad manners than boys. Attentive parents can detect the <laughs> change of attitude. They may. Uh, funny stuff. Yeah, 30 years is probably um, old for people that are in their early 20s. 
<laughs> it's not old unless it's older than you are. Okay, so let me think. If it's not old unless it's older than I am, and you are older than I am, then you are old, Kisra. Oh! something over on the other side. We can't get to it from here. Is that the witch one again? Yeah. Where's the stairs up? I saw the back door. I don't know if I want to open this. I can't actually open it. Back it out. That's got crushed flapjack dude there. There's gonna be an action sequence coming up. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Get a little squeamish here. I think he's gonna look out one more window and see one more bad thing. Letter from Reverend Carson, September 71. Oh, what was the other? There was so there's two Reverend C something, right? Reverend Carver and Reverend Carson. <clears throat> Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns to show you that your daughter's rebellious behaviour is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help Megan's moral guidance. Hebrew twelve eleven says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but Lady yields a peaceful right fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. I can't all horror games be like this. This one's really good. Yeah. There's a key there though. Grab the key. Okay, we've seen the floaty one, the flapjack one, the chain one. This one's the spiky one. And that's all of them so far. And now it's time to run. Oh man. And it's going to be the big final pass the controller around to everyone while we all run around. I'm trying to leave time.
Where's the stairs? Was there stairs? I thought I saw someone go upstairs. Okay, the other two are in there. And those two are in there. Okay. there is to look at. I've seen that. We've seen this one too. Yeah, that's the book. So this is a dead end here. There's got to be one thing we haven't looked at. That's the tyre swing. the witch postcard. But he's not even turning over anymore because we looked at it too many times maybe. This flapjack. There's the stairs. All right. <clears throat> God damn it. Let's go. You hear that? I did. Can only be the girl. Let's go find her. in here. Stay here. There's a door right there, like a cupboard door. Oh, yeah. Remember she stepped on the... This isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. God help. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. No, she. It was the Reverend. Intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please he mustn't have died in the past. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth, hidden from us, but not by Mary. 
Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his You'll not doing. deceive us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little Hope back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's well, condemning I'm... Mary to take the heat off himself. <laughs> I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. Oh, I was in his Bible all along. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths she, of hell. I wonder if she drew that in the Bible. Nothing. The devil's daughter has deceived you all. No. Not me. I see her. I see her. Satan's whore. You will pay heavily for your crimes. I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. But I didn't save you. <sighs> I can't believe it's finally over. Maybe is it? You protected the girl, and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? <sighs> I think finally, this whole nightmare is over. I'm, so, I'm like still waiting for this quick time event, hey. They died in 1702, they died in 1972. They're dying today. Reckless, no! fearful, dismissive. Decisive, deceitful.
Is it because in the trials she was there when must have spoken out against? Somewhere in the past she must have spoken against or spoken up for um, the girl, Mary. Whereas we went to save the guy hey. that was getting crushed. I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. <clears throat> we got a concussion when... I think they can be saved, but... You have to do everything right, which includes something in one of the of the past visions. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. I think you That's need to speak up forever. for the girl. You're not alone here. In Take it all easy of on the trials. Through hell. Yeah, right? Finally getting out of this hell. <laughs> Is he an old man? I just wish we all could have made it. He's the bus driver. That's why he didn't want to go back. When the, when the police said there was a detour, he didn't want to go to Little Hope. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't see the resemblance there. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. Empty bus? I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Ah, <sighs> uh, of course, and he's had a... He had a concussion from the fire and he's having a concussion from the crash. Can everyone just shut up? The company name was Ferryman. This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Vince recognized him. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. bridge wasn't broken. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Let him in. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. So since there was no one on the bus, no one died, right?
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. <laughs> we did okay. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. I would say a couple million times, Gizron. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian Desert. Maybe somewhere else. Maybe tomorrow. But we will meet again. At least one more time. I re yeah, the twist was amazing. That subtle hint from the dude, not everyone is that they seem. And we were thinking, is it the girl? Is it the priest? Why didn't he die? Why didn't he die in the past? Very good. Oh man. Post credits. Take so long me. I am desk non mechanic, so I hold the key to heaven or hell. Oh, death. Oh, Can't wait for tomorrow's. I know, I'm excited. Can't wait for next year's. For another year. oh, I, I the thing the curator said at least one more time, because originally this was planned as a trilogy. But maybe they thought, if they, maybe they knew the from how popular right it was being, that there was potential for a fourth. Or more. Oh, death. Oh, death. He's like, at least one more Won't time. You spare me over for another year. That's a bit longer too. We've oh, clocked death, in at oh, close death, to five death, hours for today. Uh, for the, the gameplay. Yesterday's was a little over four, I think. My wealth is all at your command and you but move your icy hand. Oh, death. Oh, death. We'll just Do we get a preview of tomorrow? We've got a preview of this one um, at the end of Man, uh, Man of Medan. Nor youth, nor silver, nor gold Nothing satisfies me but your soul The only young, the rich and the poor Like with me will have to go Oh, death Oh, death I'm pretty sure as well One of the, um, the cards that had, a, had the premonition yesterday Or the paintings I think the premonition was from this game Like a preview premonition I really but no the, the way the the quick time events were done I think was a huge step up from the um oh there you go from uh yesterday's you believe in God absolutely not we'll start believing we are under attack by I don't know what you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe it and I was there. In Sumerian myth, 
They say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes, where they lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. Yeah, and it's super pumped with that. That was great.